What is this? Is an Embassy RV, Class B RV, a Dolphin S model? Call this home for the night. This is my normal house. Tonight I'm really honored by Embassy RV. This is not a sponsored video. To show them, show you the difference between these two floor plans, my first night in the Embassy RV, I'm gonna move out of here, move some stuff into this van here, which was used by Alan Jackson, you know, the country western singer, right? Uh, he has a brand of bourbon whiskey called Silver Belly, and there's the old boy himself. And uh, this has been returned as a lease return because this project is done. But I'm calling this home for tonight. Let's get moving out of my van, Miss Lily, into the whiskey wagon. This is the inside of my van. If you're not familiar with it, let me show you this really quick. Just as a little bit of a, a comparison is the wrong word, but just to show you the difference between the floor plan I'm used to versus what we're going to be staying in tonight. Let me show you around. So I have a Ram Promaster chassis. These seats do spin around. I have some storage up here. This is my dinette's uh, great room, as I call it. So this table has an extension. It's a permanent table. So I can get one, two, three, four, five people around this permanent table. This also collapses into a four by six bed. In the galley area, really large fridge, freezer, microwave. This is wardrobe that I actually use for clothing. There we go. Um, big storage cabinet, propane, sink, galley cabinet. This is my garage storage area. This is where I store my fire pit, my gym bag, extra water. You kind of get the routine. This is my Murphy bed. It lays down flat. This too is a four by six bed. When I'm not in bed, it flips up and it's out of the way. I have this lovely hallway. This is storage. I got a big bourbon collection. And this is my clothing back here. Clearly my priorities are wrong. And this is my bathroom, very large bathroom self-contained same room wet flush toilet goes into a black tank shower and sink the idea was just to test drive the floor plan my first time ever being in an embassy rv so uh, let me pack up some stuff that will move vans see the difference right away right as i spend the next 12 hours in this van we're going to be going through a test of the bedding system, the sofas pulled together, the water, the toilet, which you see this. Yeah, that's the toilet, right? Um, air conditioning, they got a system here for controlling panels and everything. So it's gonna be a big video. Um, I'll give you my honest thoughts. Um, been working with Embassy RV for many years. My first time staying in one. Uh, the floor plan's the reason I don't own an Embassy. But this is kind of the point of helping you understand how you want to travel in your van. Okay, walking from the bathroom, lots of storage here, toilet over here. This is the galley. They're sitting in the great room. And what I can tell you is just the color scheme alone makes this van feel very bright, very open. Even though I have hardly any of the lights on, it just feels very light is the word I'll, I will use. Now this is on the transit chassis and it does kind of feel like that because it's very tall and it's kind of skinny, which is the whole thing about a transit. The Ram Promaster that I'm so used to is really a box. It's four inches wider, it's lower, so this van has a heightened ceiling feeling to me and if you're on the tall size, this is the kind of rig you're really going to want to examine transit chassis because it's the tallest of the three chassis transit sprinter promaster uh, I'm gonna make some chow we're gonna kind of enjoy that and then I'm gonna show you some of the systems here uh, throughout the evening and in the morning because I want to give you a really good sense of this van my first time staying in an embassy RV okay I'm gonna prepare some food and that's what we're gonna do With dinner ready, what I'm going to do is, so these folks have a, Embassy RV makes a, a lagoon style table, which means there's a bracket under the table, you can see it right here, so the table pivots this way, and it's on a pole, so it also pivots this way. So what I'm going to do is kind of move this you know, like this, very flexible, uh, I'm going to put my chow right here. 
and then that right there like that. And the TV pulls out of the ceiling. Let's see if we can do that. Just like that. Is that beautiful or what? Coming out of a van. That's really awesome. Let's we'll see if we can figure out how to turn that on. Let me eat first. I'm starving. Pretty cool though, huh? It's a very different feel. I like it. I'm leaving the AC running because this is being recorded mid-August 2023. It had a heat index today of like 110. It's still super hot out, super humid. Hopefully this is not making too much noise. Uh, it's doing a really good job cooling thermostats. Currently set at 76, it's in low. Uh, it's pretty comfy in here, actually. All right, let's see. With a little dinner, let's watch a movie, shall we? So this is pretty cool. It's really kind of an embassy RV. Uh, feature that no other B-Van has and that is to have a huge TV that pulls out of the ceiling. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. Here's the remote right here and what we're going to do is the Blu-ray disc is spinning up. I think there's Transformers the movie in the DVD player. Nice. So this has a really robust sound system but because of copyright I am not gonna play any of the sound so I don't get dinged and you can still keep watching this video so I'm actually gonna convert this into a chase lounge and I'm gonna get my uh, kind of night attire put in and we'll turn up the lights and see what this looks like for a movie night I'm pretty excited all right, so to convert to chase lounge mode, put you down here. All we're going to do is just lean the pillows. That'll be these side pillows up like this. That's what I'm told. I might change this to go like this. That's kind of one of the cool things about the lagoon tables you can kind of move it around this will give me a little extra space or I could do it all the way like this which actually might be easier still all right so let me um, change clothes this is the bathroom back here and just like that magically I've got my sleeping clothes on what I'm gonna do is kind of turn out some of the lights we're gonna watch the movie I brought my Rumple blanket, and I did a video on this. This one blanket, I actually bought two of them, but one blanket replaced six different blankets in my van uh, about a year ago. Uh, they're made from recycled plastic bottles. What's not to like about that? Um, so I'm going to just kind of prop this up here, and we're going to kind of watch the movie and just get a sense of what this is like. Uh, so now I've been Hopefully you don't fall. Been back and forth in my van now twice. Um, and they're, they're very different feeling vans. Uh, this one feels like one long hallway that's very productive, whereas mine feels like it's distinct living areas. Here they're all kind of one, almost like an airline feel to it. Not that it's bad or good. It is just what it is. Um, I do really like the brightness, the whiteness of the interior. Um, it's still super hot out. Uh, this is on low. Uh, it's doing a pretty good job keeping up. Uh, let me turn out some lights and then we'll watch a little bit of the show, Transformers. Apparently Transformers, if you hadn't seen this version, uh, they were on the moon and the mi Apollo mission was to go figure them out. So, okay, let's turn out some lights. So a couple different ways to do that. We can turn off individuals or we can hit the control panel. What I do want to do is turn on mood lighting. Uh, let me see if I can figure that out from the control screen. This controls the beds. We're not going to worry about that yet. What we're looking for is reading lights, mood lights.
can see it coming on there, right? Pretty cool. All right. Let's see what that looks like. Well, it's nice. They're on the floor now. And they're up above. That is really nice. So here's the TV, obviously. These, I think, are switched individually. We might have to try that. And that's the last one. So mood lighting, I'm super loving the mood lighting. The TV running, uh, apparently Transformers were on the moon, who knew? Uh, I'm going to have a little lay down right here, and we're going to watch the movie and just take this in. I really do like the mood lighting. That is pretty spectacular. Now these beds do come together. We're going to demonstrate this in the morning. All right, climbing on to the Chase Lounge. This is pretty comfy, I have to agree. Let me grab my pillow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, this is not like the movie experience in my band not like in most fans because the TV is really huge and you're in the right seating position. All right, I'm watching the movie. Stand by. Bedtime is next. I'm kind of falling asleep. I'm going to put the bed in nighttime mode. Uh, we're going to move this out a little bit. Uh, I'm actually not going to use these because I'm not used to a bed that's kind of much bigger than this. So um, I think these are 30 inches wide. Uh, we'll measure that in the morning. But with that, we're going to, again, put the bed into sleeping position and call a wrap for this part of the video. We're going to get up, get moving, and show you around this van. It's pretty interesting. I like it a lot. It's a very different experience than my van. Uh, but I really like it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, bedtime. TV up. We're going to move the bed out. DS driver side. What's cool is the lagoon table goes with it. So I'm gonna move this out. Still leaving enough room to get to the bathroom. We're gonna tuck these cushions on the side. All right. So the cushions put in place. There's the blanket. I'm just going to leave this up. I could take it down, but it's not really in my way. Uh, here's my pillow. I'm going to throw that right here. And I'm just going to kind of sleep inside the blanket. It's pretty warm still, so... Uh, I think I'll leave the mood lights on. This is like the mood lights. You can see that there. So if I touch and hold, then I get a lighting strength which is pretty awesome so I'm going to actually bring these way down like that and leave them on but they're really just really gentle and we are getting a little blue light here from the air conditioner I'm not sure we can do anything about that so that will say good night we'll see you in the morning <coughs> Good morning, campers. Oh, it's pretty dark in here. Uh, save this blue light from the air conditioner. Let me turn on some lights, tell you about how the night went. Give you a tour of what's going on here. Let's see, ceiling lights, what we're after. Reading lights, How about all lights. Good morning. Yes, indeed. That was an interesting night, I have to say. Uh, I've knocked back our ceiling lights a little bit because they're pretty bright for first thing in the morning. All right, let me tell you kind of how this rolled and what my thoughts are and uh, 
and we get cleaned up quick here. I want to show you the toilet, how it operates. I'm pretty impressed by that. So I've actually brought the the, uh, the bed back together. If you remember, I had this separated or moved it out from the wall. Um, I found that that was kind of uncomfortable. I'm used to sleeping on a pretty narrow space and I found it more comfortable to have a single piece here, not with extra cushions pushed against. Um, was it a sleepless night? Yeah, it was a sleepless night. I have to be honest. Why? There's a few reasons. Number one, it's not unlike when you go to a hotel room for the first night of many nights, uh, that first night or to friends, or you're just in a strange environment. Your senses are aware of all of the nuances of the sounds that are different, um, the temperature changes, everything that's different just keeps you awake. I'm a really light sleeper anyway. Um, so those, that is a few, that's one reason why it's just a new sleeping space, lots of new sounds, etc. The other thing that I am, uh, very aware of from this van is like most popular floor plan that sells in the class B space in America is two twin beds, galley, bathroom in the back. Not unlike the Winnebago 59K floor plan that has just that, although the galley would be up here. The galley's right there. Nonetheless, uh, it's a very open space and that is not what I am used to. This is a situation, let me spin this around for you where you're sleeping in this cavernous, open space. And to me, that is actually very different from what I'm used to. I am used to a very, uh-oh, time to get up. Good morning. I'm used to a space that is uh, quite elevated off the floor and the ceiling is pretty close to me so it feels like a private cozy bedroom not sleeping in the middle of the van with all this space and ceiling around me so for that reason number two this uh, helped contribute to a sleepless night and again just the kind of things moving uh, around like the table um, worry about the toilet uh, and it was just you know the anxiety of this uh, situation that I wanted to share with you and thank you embassy for let, giving me the van to uh, try this out in uh, just you know reasons contributed to a sleepless night does it make the embassy RV a bad van not at all uh, but this is why we're do, we do these things is, is have me stay in separate rigs or different rigs than mine so that I can share my experience based on what I'm very comfortable with now in my fifth year full-time travel to help you discern your style of travel and how a floor plan contributes to your happiness in a camper van. Hopefully this is making sense to you because I'm kind of doing this in live uh, real time, just waking up and um, really glad you're there for the ride. Good morning. So to sleep in this space, you would have to close up all the windows like we've done here, mostly for thermal dynamics because it's really hot in August, 2023. But uh, this is where you'd be sleeping in a single great room with a galley behind you and a, to a toilet room behind you. Let's get this cabin prepared for cleanup and then we will give you some, some highlights of this and we'll call it a wrap. How do I look? Much better, right? So even that was a very different experience. Was it bad different? No, it was just different because I do all of that in my bathroom sink. I step into the bathroom, I clean my teeth, I step out and I'm in the rest of the van. Here, you're kind of using 
the kitchen sink for the same duty. So does that matter to you? I don't know. Only you can determine that. Um, the water pressure is really good. And what I want to do now is I'm going to put this away and I'm going to demonstrate the toilet for you because that is pretty space age. This is where the toilet resides. This is a... I need to latch it right here. Like that. This is a uh, Lavio dry flush. See that? And what makes this kind of interesting is that there's no water. So any water being consumed in the van is from this single faucet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate putting some uh, water in the bowl and then how we kind of soak up some of this. I'm going to remove this. Put this back over here, sink cover. There you go. Now this is an entire surface. Uh, so I'm going to grab some water. And we'll just kind of simulate using this for number one. And P, P, P. There's kind of P number one. And then you put some absorbent material in like that, which can then be used as is for the next P session. So again, we'll simulate a PPP like that. Now, if you're going poo, you don't want to save it. You want to do the poo and then you want to flush it. So, but on the, um, rule of if it's yellow let it mellow if it's brown flush it down that's what we're doing here so let's assume that this is ready to be flushed then all you do is you literally okay take a good look because it's now you see it now you don't this is the flush button and listen It's done its trick, and we open it, and a clean bowl for the next use. Pretty amazing. I really do like that. That is very different than what I'm used to. And what's kind of interesting to think about, the only water, again, consumption being happening is from right here. So this, by having a waterless toilet, helps you extend your water that's on board. I'm going to give you my uh, final thoughts here in just a moment, so hang with me. These beds, let me see if I can make these come together for you. We just give this a swipe. And we're going to do driver side DS uh, out. And then we'll do passenger side out. and bring these all together so this becomes one huge sleeping area this little guy goes back down here so you rearrange the cushions and then if you're on the tall side this uh, is a bed extender that comes out like this I guess you can snap it first Got there we go and again like this rearranging the cushions this becomes an entire bed which is the entire width of the van and from the driver's side all the way back to the galley. So really, really big um, bed space. Then when you're done at night or in the morning like this, it's in. Uh oh, I guess we've got to move the cushions, huh? Then these just get motorized back like that. Do the same over here, in. And these pop back into place. Pretty cool, right? Final thoughts. It's really a nice rig. Uh, I see why people are super passionate about these Embassy RVs, as I have been for four years plus as I've been working with Embassy RV, because of how differently it's constructed, how different the materials are, how the overall feeling just, you feel like you're in, I feel like I'm in a private jet cabin. That's what it feels like to me. You really don't know that you're in an RV. 
um, because it is it's a long thin living space it's really tall and the lightness and the brightness of the materials uh, doesn't give away that you're in an RV at all the floor plan is what it is two twin beds galley bathroom storage in the back um, you can seat put another lagoon table and seating here seating up there uh, so you get four people around a table two tables probably is what you need uh, very easily a very functional very spacious uh, galley and I really did love the Lavio which I did use overnight three different times and to not have a black tank using a dry flush Lavio toilet I'm a big fan of that uh, we showed you how you extend a flush into multiple uh, sessions to get to one flush to help save on that and then by the way when that thing gets full you just take it out it's like a garbage bag and into the trash it goes just like you would with pet waste or with child diaper waste and you have no black tank to deal with some other things that make this a, a pretty unique vehicle is it comes with a very powerful lithium system powered by master volt the control panels are really easy to manipulate so you have a uh, you can have an unplugged shore power experience anywhere you go it charges off the uh, the chassis and while we're plugged in here because it's been so darn hot um, you don't need to if you're roaming around the thermal dynamics of the vehicle I found to be very good we rolled in here it's a black exterior van and uh, so it was a good test to the um, installation qualities I would say those are very good much better than my rig and the AC held up really well um, in the conditions that it was in it was quite comfortable inside so the overall night experience for me while sleepless because again I'm not used to this kind of space um, I think if you like the openness of a big room that you're used to at home you'll find this very comfortable me I'm used to a small space in mind so this felt like I was in a big hotel room and that contributed to my a sleepless night um, overall but I got sleep which is great and we do it for you uh, just so you can ex uh, and me so we can experience this together so with that we're gonna call it a wrap uh, again we're gonna do a complete van tour uh, a few weeks after this video drops and um, you'll want to see that from start to finish so like we always like to say uh, thank you for watching get your journey on and peace be with you. We'll see you soon.